Are you ready to rock and roll? We're ready to rock and roll. Let's bring it. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are diving into a really cool project featuring a bunch of forged bronze, which brings us to this video, how to forge bronze. Okay, so we are going to use the propane torch for all of our heating on this so that we can effectively judge the color of the material. We don't want to get it above a bright red. So we have the lights down fairly low in the shop and we're just looking for that red color to creep into the material that it now has. And that's where the report is all red. So I'm going to begin by forging a taper on the end of the bar. As soon as the color disappears from the metal, we stop hammering and we go back to reheat it. Before, this is oxypropane that we're using to heat with. We can use any heating gas. That's almost too hot. Material stop moving. It's just going to thin this out a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to call that done on this stem. Other than we'll again hit it on the diamond to form it into an octagon and round it out. So we leave a little texture into that. Not perfectly round, on purpose. Now we come back and we'll flatten out the leaf portion. With the torch off, I'm gonna talk about what I did there. So I went in with the flat of the hammer to set a flat on top of that bar. Then I flipped this around. I call this a fuller pin hammer because it's not sharp. And I went in on the center and spread that out. That fuller pin is very gentle and it also spreads the material extremely quickly. Actually much faster than a cross pin. And it leaves some beautiful texture in the center of the leaf. Now we'll reheat it and we'll focus on putting texture on the edge of the leaf. So 
So we've given that leaf a lot of life by introducing all of those foolers in to create the veins. That's one step that I like to do at a slightly lower heat. If you were to do that at a bright red, you could actually cut through the material because it's so soft and we're working with a sharp peen. So I just want to come back with it at a lower heat to forge that texture in. Yeah, and if you look at that hammer on its end, it's actually sharp, even though it looks quite blunt. It's blunt, but sharp at the same time. So now we'll finish shaping this. The next step is we're gonna press a vein in the arbor press to shape it, and then we'll do all the final shaping at the anvil. This is a very low red heat. You can just barely see red in it. Come in and press that to help shape that. I'm gonna go back and press it one more time just to feed it in that die a little bit deeper. Be very careful to not overheat it. So we press that in a little bit deeper. Now I want to keep the center of that vein, but hold that leaf out a little bit. So I'll do that by hitting on the edge to let that cup out and create kind of a beautiful transition. Then we'll shape the point of it. So I'm going to heat this point heat up very quickly. Work it over the edge of the anvil. Now I'm gonna pre-bend it to come off of the vine. So I didn't have enough heat in it and it didn't wanna move, so. That's the big thing, to be patient heating it up. If it doesn't feel right, it's not right. You can literally feel when the temperature is correct after a little bit of experience. All right, so that leaf is now finished and ready to shear off and we'll TIG weld this into the main branch. So the back transition coming from the stem into the leaf looked a little bit doughy. So what I did is I heated it only in that area and used this part, the round part of the fuller to get in there and form that, allowing the anvil to form the bottom and the hammer to form the top. It makes a big difference in the overall final appearance of the leaf. One other important thing to mention is that before we begin, we polished the anvil face as well as the hammer faces with a Scotch-Brite surface conditioning belt and disc. This is important in the final finish on the bronze. Okay, everyone, thanks for joining us on this tutorial of how to forge a bronze leaf. Um, we will show you a few shots of the finished, quote unquote, finished product. But it's a very beautiful material. It's very soft overall. It just takes a little bit more thought, control, and patience in the heating and the forming of it.